Hi everyone, this is Mojo and welcome to my series of Let's create a Warcraft RPG game in Unreal Engine 5 with no code To run Unreal Engine 5 you will need a powerful PC You can get this uh, list of specs um, uh, recommended on the website of Epic Games uh, So yeah, basically you need uh, GTX uh, 1080 and or AMD RX Vega 64 a CPU with 12 core, an SSD and a 32 GB of RAM I only have 16, it works fine but it's a little bit slow so um, I recommend you not to, to to be like me just get a 32 GB of RAM it's quite expensive but that's the price that's the cost of making AAA video game so in this series we're going to learn uh, about uh, Getting familiar with Unreal Engine 5, um, we're going to see how to create blueprints. So, what is blueprints? Blueprints is um, a feature in Unreal Engine 5 that allows you to to get into programming without coding, without coding. So it looks like this. As you can see, uh, there's a lot of node here that are uh, linked to each other with um, with a thread, and it creates logics in the in the blueprints. And with this blueprint, you can create a player system, uh, including movement, HP, power resources, combat abilities, and equipment. An NPC system, which means AI enemies or NPC interaction. A, new, a user interface. Uh, which include pop-up menu and inventory and a quest system with objectives and rewards and you will also learn how to create maps uh, so you can make your characters uh, walk around in the maps so let's get started first we need Unreal Engine 5 how to get Unreal Engine 5 get the Epic Games launcher go to Unreal Engine here on the left uh, above you get uh, six tabs uh, you click on UE5 get the download get the early access by clicking download early access here it's pretty straightforward from here so I, I don't need to show you I can't even show you anyway because I already have it and once you have the early engine installed you're going to to launch it Now you have this, you might want to create a game, so let's click on game here, top down, as Warcraft, as World of Warcraft use um, uh, the mouse to, to move the characters and, and the cursor for the menu and whatnot. So get top down, blueprint here, we're going to do all in blueprints. Target platform this desktop maximum story content rendering. Leave, let's leave this as is, and we're going to name it my Warcraft tutorials. Uh, yeah, because it's a lot of tutorials, it's a walkthrough of tutorials. Now we have this. Next, you're going to need World of Warcraft. Uh, you get it from the Battle.net launcher. Uh, download it, it's uh, free, but it's uh, like uh, 80 GB, so uh, it's going to take a lot of time. And to extract the models from World of Warcraft, you need WoW Model Viewer. Just uh, write WoW Model Viewer uh, on Google, you're going to find it right away. Uh, get the Shadowlands version. So you can extract from the Shadowlands directory. Uh, you need also Blender and Photoshop, but it's optional. But you're going to need it if you want to uh, to have the shoulder pads and uh, the helmets on your character from World of Warcraft. And uh, at last, you need XNView MP to extract uh, all the 2D assets 
from uh, World of Warcraft, like uh, player frame, target frame, um, spell boo, uh, character frame, character panels, uh, a talent frame, etc. That being said, let's dive into Unreal Engine 5. We have this, and when we click play, we have this character that won't move with uh, WASD, but when we click on the left button of the mouse, we're going to fix that in a, in a while. But for now, let's introduce uh, the World of Warcraft models in the in the game engine. So how we do it? So we have World Model Viewer. We launch it. It will ask to load World of Warcraft. Uh, the first time you're going to uh, to look for World of Warcraft, uh, the World of Warcraft folder. And for this tutorial, we're going to to export um, less. Next, export the uh, Nelf. <sighs> okay, go to character here, blood elf, male, HD. Okay, let's let's get this one naked for a start. Export model FBX. Tutorial Blood Elf Tutorial No tutorial Blood Elf Right and unselect all we're just going to to get uh for a start we're going to take stand run and walk uh, jump to jump start and fall no fall I don't need it jump land and run uh, shuffle sprint Attack uh, Let's get the glaive uh, version Double jump, double jump star, combine big, glaive big, combat red, combat sprint, uh, back flip, really glaive. Okay, let's get them. Leak it. Okay, we can close it for now. And we're going to import them in Unreal Engine 5. To do so, you press Control Space Bar. Space Bar. Sorry. Um, get the tutorial blood elf in here. Now let's make a folder first. Okay. 
tutorial blood elf tutorial blood elf here uh, scale this to one uh, 75 because it otherwise you're going to be really small and we can import this Let's import the animation as well. Create animation, new folder animation. Right, animation here. Uh, tutorial. Tutorial blood elf animation here. Let's get all of them. Get the skeleton um, of tutorial blood elf. It's Im important. And again, 175. Import all. Just skip this. Okay, it's done now. S save. Skip this as well. <laughs> and we're going to create a blueprint here in the tutorial folder. Create, right click, create blueprint class and character. Name it BP uh, base character. BP base player. In the BP base player, click here mesh and get the tutorial blood elf. As you can see, there's an offset between the player collision, the capsule collision here, and the blood elf. So we're going to ground the blood elf at minus 88. So it's on the same level. And um, we're going to copy a few things from the the mannequin here, R right click, no, uh, I mean uh, left click, and uh, press Ctrl E. We're going to copy this uh, spring arm and camera. Get the spring arm and the camera here. Uh, click on BP base player and paste. Uh, don't forget to uh, activate the camera. Here on the detail panel, click on camera, set auto activate. Otherwise, uh, it won't be uh, activated at, at the start of the game. Um, here in BP Base Player, uh, you have to set the input of the player character, so the player control, I mean. So here in the in detail panel, in pawn, you're going to set player zero at auto process player, place in world, and top down controller here for the AI controller class. Let's get them in the world and we're going to delete this one. So, does it work? Yes. It moves with the mouse click. Okay, that's it for now. We're going to see how to uh, to um, to create a movement with uh, the keyboard keyboard input. Uh, to to make the camera the camera rotate uh, around the character uh, with the mouse uh, with the mouse input um, and also how to make the character move with animation um, 
we're going to see all of this uh, in the next video and uh, I'm going to leave you here. So thank you for watching and see you on the next video.